Anonymous access is something that we typically see made available for public facing sites so that the general public can access and read content on the website. Now many companies public facing internet presence sites are built on top of the web content management features of SharePoint server and as such have a need to allow anonymous users to view their content. Now what's important about enabling anonymous access is that there are two steps necessary. Step one, at the web application level, enable anonymous access. This does not turn it on anywhere. Step two, navigate to a site collection and turn on anonymous access. Once it's on, yeah, then it's on. So once you've turned anonymous access on, there are three possible access choices that you can configure at the site level. You can give anonymous access users access to the entire website, which gives them read-only access to the site. You can give them access to lists and libraries only, which means that those lists and libraries would have to have specific permissions allowing anonymous users to access them. Or you could specify nothing, which effectively is how you turn it off. If you have customized permissions within a list to allow anonymous access users some sort of access, you've got four options. So there's an option for adding items, editing items, deleting items, or just viewing items. These are checkboxes you can select. Let's just take a look. Right, here we are on the home page of Central Administration once again, and I want to walk you through enabling anonymous access for Globomantics.com, the public facing website. To enable anonymous access, there are two steps. Step one is to go to Manage Web Applications and select the web application, www. Then select the Authentication Providers button in the ribbon. And then click on the Zone. You can have up to five zones in a web application. Select the zone that you would like to enable anonymous access on. So in my case, I only have one zone called Default. I'll select that and it opens up and I can edit the authentication for the zone. I'm simply going to check the Enable Anonymous Access box and scroll down and click Save. It'll take a moment to actually apply this change. Some of the things that are going on behind the scenes are changes to the web.config file and changes to the IIS website. Once the change is complete, you'll be taken back to the Authentication Providers dialog, which you can then close out. We'll navigate to our public facing website and we need to make sure that anonymous access is enabled or actually turned on. So now I'm going to go into the site actions, site permissions option. Here on the site permissions page, I now have an extra button in the ribbon in the manage group that says anonymous access. So I can select anonymous access and I can choose the kind of access that I would like to give my anonymous users access to the entire website, specific lists and libraries, or nothing at all. So I'll click entire website and then click OK. And just like that, anonymous users now have access to the entire website and can view it.